Hawaiian music is a, a great example of how music is a reflection of environment and the people in that environment. The music just feels like it comes from the earth. It, the music sounds very, very much like the place looks and feels. Hawaiian music has been influenced by American pop music for years, so there's all these different uh, sort of fusions of Hawaiian music. Xiaoyi music is actually a very diverse cultural expression, because Xiaoyi is surrounded by many cultures. Everyone is mixed in all cultures, and they all bring different cultures together. So the music is the same. So we wanted to make a Xiaoyi music album. And at this time, I found our most talented recording engineer and music director, David V. Xianzhen. Working with Mr. Ye and Rimwa music, it really was a pleasure. This is our first real endeavor from start to finish. Mr. Ye, he's really trying to bring the world closer together with music. So we decided to just focus on one era, which is the jazz-influenced style uh, of Habahole, which was present from about the 20s, more the 30s, 40s, and 50s. It's kind of swing style but introduces a lot of Hawaiian instrumentations with ukulele and, and steel guitar, which was Western, but really became a featured instrument in Hawaiian music, in this Hawaiian music. First, actually, we were really trying to record the album in Hawaii because this music is so stylized and is a very old style. It's almost 100 years old. There's actually not a lot of Hawaiian musicians uh, who can play authentically in that style. And I happen to know some great musicians here in Los Angeles who are big fans and very knowledgeable about this style. We've got Dean Parks, who is a legendary a studio musician who's played on probably more albums and movie scores than most any other musician in the world. Then we've also got uh, vibraphone, which is a very featured instrument in Western jazz in the 20s, 30s, and 40s. My friend Nick Mancini, who's a fantastic vibraphone player, was happy to play uh, some wonderful vibes on this, on this album. Then we've got David Jackson, on bass. We've also got James Cruz who plays a little bit of percussion. Then we've also got Ken Emerson and Jim Kimo West. They are extremely knowledgeable about Hawaiian music. I was primarily the steel guitarist on this project and I also played some ukulele. Uh, since the eras that we covered were some classic eras of the 20s, 30s, and 40s, I brought some of my vintage guitars down. This is a 1928 National Steel. And you don't really hear these much in Hawaiian music anymore. So it's very important that we perpetuate these styles because it's very important in keeping the tradition of Hawaii alive. We knew we were going to have um, vocals on the record. Aloha Oe, done by Tavita Teo. He did a fantastic job on the vocals. And he was also a big help in helping us keep this authentic. So we were really happy to have Tavita on this record. And I think he shines. Thank you. 
很好听的这些夏威夷音乐，大家在一起选择的乐曲做了排练，最后在去年的一个时间，我们选择的非常重要的一个录音室，在伟大的艺术家查理·卓别林的这个录音室里面，完成了这样一个非常特别的作品。We knew going into this that we wanted to do a Dolby Atmos mix. For those people who don't know what Dolby Atmos is, it's the latest version of surround sound. We're basically trying to make you feel like you were sitting right in the middle of the studio, surrounded by these great musicians. We did everything live, just like they did back in the old days. You know, because this music on this record is is a tribute to the an older era of Hawaiian music. And back in those days, recording was very simple. They, everybody would just set up in one room and play, and that's exactly what we did on this record. And it made it very, uh, very fun and refreshing because we we do a take, we go into the studio and listen to it, and there you go, you have the whole song. It's all done. You know, it's fantastic. It's an authentic recreation of uh, the moment, and I think you'll really feel like you're immersed in this uh, sound. And it's a wonderful sound to be inside this Hawaiian music. Anyway, this record is is really refreshing to to do, to play live, and in a very um, very sophisticated recording setup, where everything was captured just pristinely. I think you'll all will all enjoy it, and it's a real tribute to this great history of Hawaiian music. We hope we can bring music to everyone a kind of Hawaiian feeling, to return to this very natural life environment. 欢迎大家到夏威夷，听着音乐，随着我们到夏威夷旅行。What I hope listeners will hear when they when they hear this album is the magic that happens when great musicians are playing great music in the moment, and when you are recording that and capturing it, you're really capturing magic. So I hope that that's what listeners will will take away from、uh, their first listen to this record.